All right, this is a Roger Sadowski design Metro Express hybrid PJ5 string. Bass features um, a Sadowski preamp with bass and treble boost with a blend control and volume, active passive um, by pulling up, I believe this is the treble knob. Um, there's no passive tone control, but you can modify one of these to have one. A bass features a single coil jazz pickup and a split coil P bass pickup. Very nice neck profile for a five string, a very slim front to back. Um, it is a wide spacing body, uh, wide spacing bass with 19 millimeter at the bridge, which a lot of people like, and I, I actually like that really nice. It does have an adjustable nut and lightweight Sadowski tuner, so the bass balances very well. Um, it's a lightweight bass overall, um, slightly undersized J bass body, so it's very nice and comfortable. And it is a phenomenal bass, and these are pretty overlooked. Um, and there's been some bad press about them, but they've made a lot of improvements on them. Um, so the first batch that came out, like the beginning of the the pandemic um, had some QC issues, but they've more than addressed those. So I'm going to crank the volume all the way up and the bass and treble are down. And uh, I'm going to turn up the volume on the, the cabinet first real quick. I'm just going to turn up the master. I'm playing through the Gensler Base Array 210 and the Magellan 800 head. And uh, yeah, I'm going to play this a little bit. And so right now it's pan center, both pickups on, bass treble flat. And this is this is active in active mode right now. Um, one of the complaints of these about the first time was the volume difference between active and passive. Well, there is no volume difference in active and passive when the preamp is flat. So here's active, passive, no difference. Very you hear a slight tonal difference, but the level is pretty much the same. This is passive now. Active. And this is this is completely flat. This has no boost. Yeah, the preamps boost only. So I'm gonna play the bridge pickup. pickup sounds mean he put some flats on this and and you got a really well-rounded um you know great p bass sounding bass um so start adding in in some uh preamp so again this is both pickups on um i think look at that that's the treble and that's the bass so you have bass and treble i always get mixed up a little bit so i'm just going to boost some bass boost some treble I'm going to turn down that cap just a little bit because this is a really powerful preamp and that's where you get um, some people saying because like when you turn it up and then put it in passive there's a big drop off because you got like 18 decibels of boost and 
we don't need that much. So, and it is a single coil in the bridge right now, and you do get some noise when you start boosting that treble, but that's normal single coil noise. It's not overly aggressive, but you really don't hear it until you boost the treble more than 50%. So we'll, we'll go over that in a second. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of musical EQ in there. pickup solo not getting any noise yet from the single coil with about 25% boost on each sounding bass that's the bridge pickup I'm gonna crank up the preamp all the way see if we can hear it there's a little bit of single coil noise and you hear when I put it on the neck pickup silence beautiful now I'll do just the bridge pickup you do have some single coil noise but that is not that bad and it's no one if you're playing with the treble all the way up like that we got to have a talk because you need to change your strings because that's like overly bright. That's just like... I've never heard a bass player want that. It's just like tinny. It's just too far bright. You don't do that. Roll the treble off a little bit. like no noise so it is a it is a um, single coil pickup we do have upgraded pickups for these and the nice soft uh, coating ones that they have on the Metro line we replace the P bass pickup and with a stacked um, J pickup in the five string and a split coil in the four string we can do that modification and if you do that it completely changes the bass the pickups are a lot better it turns a bass from being a great bass to an amazing bass um, just from changing the pickups but uh, let's do the EQ this is fully fully up um, 
and it's a little bit too hot for my taste. This is both pickups. the treble a little bit it gets rid of the noise because the noise if you got the knob here right this is the treble if there's no noise here no single coil noise it's right till you get about there and you still have a whole other quarter turn so right there there's no noise and it sounds much better here <laughs> This is a uh, bridge only. Monstrous tone out of this bass. This, start, this bass starts under a thousand dollars. Nine forty nine is what starts at pickups as is. We could swap the pickups to the hub canceling. Then you don't have any single coil noise. Um, so if you are one who solos the J pickup a lot, I would suggest doing that modification. Um, it's not necessary, but it does take this bass to another level. Um, what was the next thing I wanted to show on this thing? Hmm. That was pretty badass, man. This is a great low B. What this is for a bass under a thousand dollars, I haven't had a low B that sounds this good. And I don't, I don't, I don't know what exactly it is, but it's a great sounding beat. And up here, it doesn't sound woofy. Um, I got the bass all the way up. I'm going to put the preamp flat again, and this is still neck only. Um, level is a lot lower when you pull it down, but again, if you put it in passive, active, passive, there's no level change because you don't have that 18 decibels of boost. So I'm just going to boost up the level again. Ba the amp is completely flat, so we're not, we don't have anything added EQ wise on the amp, it's, it's just flat. This is passive.
that's just the neck pickup and preamp is flat. That's a solid sounding bass, man. So yeah, you can check out this bass on fretnation.com. We have many five string and four string Metro Express basses in stock. They come with uh, uh, a Kume body with, uh, ro sorry, not Rosa, Murado, also known as Palfero fingerboard and also a Maple fingerboard. Some of them have some really nice neck figuring. Um, this one's okay, but they're usually really nice maple necks, um, one piece maple necks. Um, so yeah, great bass. They come with strap locks, very nice gig bag. Four strings start at the current price, $8.99. Five strings, $9.49. And um, these haven't hit, been hit by any price increases yet. So um, I would jump on them and give us a call. Uh, Fret Nation, happy to get you the best price on one. Thanks.